great. I am fun. I'm just great. I am fun. I am great. I'm very well today. Great. Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you? How are you today? I am hungry. I am tired. I am hungry and I am tired. I am hungry. I am tired. I'm not so good today. Oh, well, I hope you feel better soon. Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm very well today. We are going to go to the next topic, which is in my school bag. What do you find in your school bag? You find your eraser, ruler, sharpener, pencil, pen. These are some examples of things that you find in your school bag. And what are they called? They are called stationery. Ding dong! Ding dong! Good morning, Jessica. Good morning, Teacher Anita. Jessica, I think you are a bit late for your class today. I'm sorry, Teacher Anita. Just now I'm looking for my eraser, my ruler. I can't find it. Then my mommy helped me to find it. So you have them all in your bag now? Yes, very teacher. Very good. I bring my bag too. Oh, very good. Because we are going to use them in the class today. Uh, okay. Now children, what bag is this? Hmm, I'm not sure, teacher. Is it a shopping bag? No. A marketing bag? No. Then, what bag is this? Mm, school bag. Very good. Yay! It's a school bag. Now, let me put the bag on the table and show you what we have in the school bag. Okay, teacher. Now, let me unzip the bag. A notebook. Now, what do you use a notebook for? Mm, for drawing? No. Mm, I'm not sure, teacher. You write down some notes. Oh. Now, this is a box of color pencils. Now, what do you use the color pencils for? I know, teacher. It's for coloring. Very good. Now this is a pencil. And what do you use the pencil for? Writing. Writing. Very good. Now this is an eraser. An eraser. What do we use an eraser for? For erasing. Okay. Now when do we use an eraser? For erasing. For erasing. For example, if I were to spell the word boy, B, Y, O. Is this the correct spelling? No, teacher. So what is the correct spelling for boy? B, O, Y. Boy. Yes. What do we do with this word? So we will have to erase the word boy using an eraser. Now, this is a ruler. Now, when do we use a ruler? For drawing a line. Yes. For example, if we would want to mix a few columns. So, we take the ruler and a pencil and draw some lines. And what do you call this? Glue. Glue. And when do we use the glue? Mm, I 
I don't know, teacher. Okay, when we want to stick a picture, when we want to stick two papers together, for example, if I want to stick these two papers together, I will have to glue them first. So you can glue the side, you can glue the center, whichever you have to do. And then, we stick them together. And now, once I have put the glue, the two pieces of paper have become one piece. Go to page 11 in your English book 6.2. Now here it is in my school bag. Now, what is in Susie's bag? This is Susie. Look at the pictures and name the objects correctly. Now, before we do that, have a look at, at the bottom of your page. Notebook. Eraser. Ruler. Pen. Pencil. Now, can you tell me what is this? Eraser. Eraser. Good. Eraser. What about the next picture? Pencil. Pencil. Good. The next one. What is this? Ruler. Is this a ruler? Pen. Pen. What about this? Ruler? Yes, this is a ruler. And finally, what is this? Notebook. A notebook. Alright, now let's go to the next page. Now here. Write a new sentence by replacing the underlined words. So these are the underlined words. For example, the pencil is short. So here you have to rewrite the sentence using the word ruler and long. The ruler is long. The next one. The ruler is in the bag. So here we have to write the... Eraser is in the pencil box. The next one. My mother has a pen. Then here we have to write my father has a notebook and the last one Tina writes with a pen here we can say Alice draws with a pencil Now children, the next topic is on shopping. Do you like to go shopping? Yeah! Let's go! Maple Leaf Learning Let's go shopping, let's go shopping, let's go shopping, you and me. Let's go shopping, let's go shopping. Let's go shopping, you and me. The toy store. Here we go. The supermarket. Here we go. The bakery. Here we go. Let's 
go shopping, you and me. Let's go shopping, let's go shopping, let's go shopping, you and me. Let's go shopping, let's go shopping, let's go shopping, you and me. The candy store. Here we go. The cake shop. Here we go. The bookstore. Shopping, you and me. Hey guys, I hope you had fun shopping. Oh, I'm so tired. Do you know why? I went shopping. I am tired, but I am happy too. Do you want to know what I bought? Yes. Let me show you. Hmm. Where are my things? Oh, I found it. This pair of shoes. Isn't it beautiful? Beautiful. I also bought mm, this handbag. It's a beautiful color. A beautiful handbag, right? I love the color. I also bought this handbag. Do you like it? Yes! I like it too. We can always use this hat if we go out on a hot day or even to the beach. Oh, I hope you can go out and shop too. Let's go to the next topic which is shopping. Now, do you like to go shopping? Yes! What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Mm, clothes. Clothes. Anybody else? I like to buy shoes. Shoes. Any other things? Accessory. What about you? Books. Books. Very good. Now, can you go shopping every day and buy everything every day? No. No, you can't do that. Alright. Now, now that you have already told me what you like to buy, can we continue with our lesson? Yes. Yes. So now, look at your books, everyone. Now, let's go to the next page. Now, here, we are going to read a passage on shopping. Now, here, can you see the picture? There is a family here who have gone for shopping. Now, my name is Rob. Today, my family and I are going shopping. We are in the shopping mall. There are many people in the shopping mall too. Dad is going to buy a new school bag for me. My sister helps mom to choose a new dress. After shopping, we have lunch at a restaurant. Later, we have fun at the mall. Now, let's do the questions on page 14. Circle the correct answer, then write it down. Now, here is an example for number one. What are Rob and his family doing today? They are going shopping. So, after you circle the answers, you have to rewrite the sentence. Number two, where are they? They are in the shopping mall or are they in the park? Shopping mall. Shopping mall. So you have to circle the letter A and then you have to rewrite the sentence here. Number three. What is Rob's dad going to buy? Rob's dad is going to buy a school bag. Or B. Rob's dad is going to buy a flower. Mm, A. A. He is going to buy a school bag. Good. Remember, you have to rewrite the sentence here. Okay. Number four. What is Rob's sister doing? She is helping mom to carry a bottle of water. She is helping mom to choose a new dress. Hmm, maybe A. 
no? Is she by helping to carry a bottle of water? No. No. She is helping mom to choose a new dress. Do not forget to write down the sentence here again. And number five. What do they do after shopping? They have lunch at a restaurant. They go home. Lunch at the restaurant. Very good. Lunch at a restaurant. And you have to rewrite the sentence here. Alright, now let's go to the next page. Look at the pictures. Read and take the correct answer. Then write the answer down. Now, John buys a new eraser, a new pen, a new pencil. Look at this picture. What is it? Eraser. Eraser. So we have to tick here. Alright. Mahmoud buys trousers, a t-shirt, a bag. What is he buying? A t-shirt. A t-shirt. Jane buys a dress, shoes, a skirt. What a is skirt. it? A skirt. And the last question. Mrs. Wong buys... What is she buying? Is she buying? Cake. A cake. Now let's go to the next page. Here, Mrs. Smith has four children. Each of her children wants her to buy two things from the shopping mall. Look at the pictures and complete the crossword puzzle below. Now can you see? This is called a... What is this called? Crossword. Crossword puzzle. Now... They are going to buy all these things at the shopping mall. Now, this is number one. Across. Across this way. Down, you go this way. So, look at number one. What is this? Skirt. Can you spell skirt for me? S. S. K. I. I R. T. T. Skirt. Okay. S. K. I. R. T. Teacher just wants to see if you know the spelling. Right? But I will help you. What about this one? What is this? Eraser. Eraser number three. Can you spell? E. A. Eraser. E. R. E. No, it's A. S E R. Eraser. E R A S E R. What about number four? What do you call this? Ruler. Ruler. R. What letter? R. R. U. L. E. S. R. R. Not S. Ruler, not roots. Ruler. Number five. Across. What is this? Pencil. How do you spell pencil? P. E. N. C. I. F. Good. P. E. N. C. I. L. Alright. Number seven. What is this? Dress. Dress. How do you spell dress? D R E S S. Dress. D R E S S. Dress. All right. Now we are going to go down from up to down. What is this? Shoe. Shoe. So S H hmm? O E. Right. S H O E S. The S is here. Shoes. What about this? Trousers. Trousers. So what letter do I put here? T R O U S E R S. Right. T R O U S E R S. Trousers. And the last one? Pen. Pen. How do you spell pen? P-E-N. 
All right, good. Now we have come to the end of our lesson for today. Make sure you stay home, you do your homework, and be happy.